Hey everyone, it's Tucker from Tucker Sewing and Quilting. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a Legit Kits quilt. Mike, the owner of Legit Kits, reached out and asked me if I would like to test one of his upcoming patterns. I said absolutely, and I jumped on that as quick as I could, because who doesn't love Legit Kits? Mike was gracious enough to send me the muscle car kit to test out. If you have never heard of Legit Kits before, they have a wide range of paper piecing patterns for you to choose from. They sell just the pattern or the full blown kit, and there's a skill level for everyone. Legit Kits has everything from small projects and wall hanging size to full size quilts that can be purchased on their website. They also have a lot of different designs from animals to dragons to even some famous art sculptures. So definitely click on the link in the description below and check them out. With all of that being said, we're just gonna crack right into this box. So when you get a kit, it's gonna come in a box like this and it's gonna have a warning on it. And it says, warning, legit kits. Contents highly addictive, open at your own risk. So we're gonna be a little risky and we're gonna pop this box open. Your kit will come wrapped in plastic like this just in case the box gets wet shipping. This way your fabric is all sealed up in this bag and it'll stay nice and dry. So when you open your kit up, this is the top of it. Uh, you're gonna get some information with your quilt. This is the information sheet showing you what quilt kit you got, the skill level of the quilt, and all of the hashtags that you can use on social media when you share the process of your quilt. The next page is going to give you the overall image of what your quilt is going to look like once it's finished. This, the next page is going to be the individual layout of your whole entire quilt. Isn't it awesome that this whole quilt is laid out with rectangles? So that means no crazy seams when you're putting this all together. It's down to the basics, straight line sewing. The next page is gonna be a reverse image of your quilt. This is what your quilt will look like on the back with all of the papers attached to the fabric. Because remember when you're foundation paper piecing, the back is opposite of the front. Now our next couple of pages are the color charts. So this is gonna give you all of the colors and all of the ID numbers for all of the fabric that's used in your quilt. Once all that information's out of the way, we have the assembly guide, and there's a lot of pages of the assembly guide here. Up at the top here, it gives you the fabric that you're gonna use, the name, the ID number, and how much, and it shows you where each one of the pieces that you will be using can be laid out to make best use of your fabric. So all of this white space here in the middle is approximately how much fabric will be left. And as you're putting your quilt together, you can mark off the different pieces to keep yourself a little more organized. So this is gonna give you all the information of how to lay your quilt out and how to start putting it together. So once we move that out of the way, now we have all of the foundation paper that comes with your quilt. This, the patterns are printed on newspaper. So this is a thinner paper than your normal copy paper. And this is what's recommended when you are foundation paper piecing. So you can see there is quite a lot of paper, but on some of these, like this is only half of a block. So some of these blocks are split up into multiple pages. So once we get all of the information out of the way, we have all of this beautiful fabric right here. As we can see here, each of these fabrics is marked with a symbol, what the color is, what the ID number is, and how much of that fabric you received. Please, please, please do not take these stickers off of your fabric. Please, please, please do not wash any of this fabric as the sticker will dissolve and you won't be able to match the fabric up with the original intended color. All right, so let me just show you from the side all of the colors that are used in this quilt. Look at that. All the oranges and the blues down there and the grays and the reds just look absolutely great and I can't wait to get started. 
I am so excited to get started on this muscle car. It's just so cool and modern and it fits my style perfectly. Remember to click on the link in the description below and check out Legit Kit's website and maybe there's a kit on there that you might like. Well, for right now, I have to start breaking down this pattern and start working on my test blocks. I want to say a big thank you to Mike O'Dell, owner of Legit Kits, for sending this awesome quilt, and I can't wait to get started. Make sure you guys go show Legit Kits some love on all of their social media platforms. Until then, I have a couple blocks to test out. With all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.